Hello, welcome to orchestral tutorial. In the last uh, tutorial, we saw how to automate the path changes. In this tutorial, I want to uh, explain to you the chart. So just look at uh, look at the chart here. Your acoustic piano is corresponding to piccolo vibrato, and that is for channel number one. 2, 3 and 4. That means that on channel number 1, 2, 3 and 4, acoustic piano will only correspond to one instrument here and with, uh, so on with the other instruments. And it will change for channel number 5. Here it is. Now acoustic piano is corresponding to trumpet section 1. And that will be for channel number 5, 6 and 7. Again it changes on channel number 8. Now acoustic piano will correspond to classical trumpet. And so on with the other instrument. Again it changes on channel number 9. Now here acoustic piano is corresponding to concert piano. And so on with the other instruments. Bright acoustic piano corresponding to harpsichord. And now on channel number 10, it is acoustic piano is corresponding to orchestra kit. Now from here, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Here acoustic piano is corresponding to violin warm section and so on with the other instruments. So for 12, 13, 14 and 15, it will be the same instrument. And on channel number 16, again it changes. Now, acoustic piano is corresponding to violin vibrato. And so on. We'll just uh, take a look in the program here. We open the orchestra. Media out plugin. We make the port changes. And here we make the port changes. Okay. Now, uh, okay, one thing I want to tell you is that uh, we don't need to connect the control here means patch to this uh, patch window because once you do the connection FL studio remembers that uh, setting and in next uh, session you won't have to connect it again I mean to say that this controller 69 you won't have to connect here and make the changes here See, if when I move this, the instrument automatically goes on changing. See, because it has uh, remembered the settings of the previous uh, session. So that is one good thing in FL Studio. Uh, so now here, we'll just uh, take a look what we have just seen in the chart. So on channel 1, okay, the first patch that is acoustic grand piano is corresponding to piccolo vibrato. On channel number 2, it is oboe vibrato. See, now when I move to channel number 2, this instrument will change to piccolo vibrato. Piccolo vibrato, it has changed. So it will continue uh, with the on the four channel in the same manner. See now it is clarinet. It will change to piccolo vibrato as we have seen in the chart. Piccolo vibrato. And on channel four, acoustic grand piano is corresponding to piccolo vibrato. So on, for these four channels, acoustic grand piano is corresponding to only one instrument. 
now on channel 5 it won't be piccolo vibrato it will be something different here see as i move to channel 5 the first instrument on channel 5 is trumpet section 1 now when i move to channel 6 okay here again trumpet section 1 as i move to channel 7 now just look at this window here it is trombone it will change to trumpet section 1 because in the chart we have seen that for channel 5 6 and 7 only one instrument is there acoustic grand piano is corresponding to only one instrument trumpet section 1 now as i move to channel 8 acoustic grand piano will corresponding to correspond to different instrument here see it is classical trumpet so as we have seen in the chart that for channel number 8 the first patch uh, that uh, acoustic grand piano corresponds is classical trumpet then on channel number 9 again it will be different the first patch is concert piano on channel number 10 it is same uh, sorry it is orchestra kit now from channel number 11 to 15 Orchestra grand piano will correspond to only one instrument. Now we will see. The first patch is violin warm section. So as I move to channel number 12, it is same. 13, it is violin warm section. On 14, it is cello. It will change to violin warm section. Just look here. See, it has changed here. On channel number 15, now it is contrabass, it will change to violin warm section. See here. On channel number 16, it will be something different. Violin vibrato. The first patch that corresponds to acoustic grand piano is violin vibrato on channel number 16. Now, uh, one thing is that uh, you better stick to the default style. That is full orchestra one because the chart that I have prepared here it goes according to the default style here and accordingly it changes for one, two, three, and four one instrument, then from five, six, seven again one on eight it changes, nine it changes, ten changes. 11 12 13 14 15 again one instrument on 16 the patch changes uh, i want to show you one example here what happens if you change uh, take some other style suppose we take a concerto now in the default style it was the first instrument on the first channel was piccolo vibrato here now that we have changed the style the first instrument here is concert piano so let's change it to channel number one now for this channel we'll have to follow the different chart here we'll have to follow the chart of Channel number 9, acoustic piano corresponding to concert, uh, concert piano and so on. Now uh, let's take uh, channel number 2 here. On channel number 2 again they have taken different instruments. So I make channel 2 here. The first instrument that corresponds to acoustic grand piano is violin vibrato. So in order to make the patch changes for channel number 2, we'll have to uh, look in the this uh, chart. Here it is. For channel number 2 here, we'll have to follow the chart of channel number 16. Acoustic piano corresponding to violin vibrato and so on. So that's why it becomes a little messy. Uh, so it is better if you stick to the 
default uh, settings that is this full orchestra one and accordingly you make the changes according to the chart that i have prepared here i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i thank uh, you